So with this session, I'd like to uh, draw the conference to a close, but there are three parts. I'm just going to summarise what we've covered over the last two, day, two, three days, actually, in fact, including our industry day, which is quite successful. Um, and I will talk about uh, our future plans, and uh, that will be punct those two presentation slots will be punctuated by a short um, announcement by Janis Berlakis regarding uh, EC3 awards. I just wanted to summarize kind of the EC3 value proposition, and we really appreciate the amount of effort that you have gone to in terms of preparing, conducting your research, preparing your papers, deciding to uh, present uh, at EC3, and making, um, making the effort to attend our, our, our conference. So we really felt that the, um, this integrated event uh, was essentially um, a mixture and a nice, nicely blended mixture of technical sessions, late breaking abstracts, which is a new concept to me in, for engineering conferences, a uh, thesis in three competition, which I think was quite successful and uh, very dynamic in terms of how quick, how fast paced it was, uh, uh, given 12 presenters uh, were involved in one particular session. Um, we had our dedicated industry day and a variety of uh, social networking and tourism opportunities. I was also very, very impressed by the, by the location. So I think the, the, the combination of the whole lot pr uh, provided for what I think has been a, quite a successful conference. Now, in terms of the EC3 value proposition uh, for our technical papers and our research content, um, we really looked at other domains and uh, adopted key features from those domains. So we really wanted to focus on quality of research papers. And as a result, we chose area chairs that were se um, senior researchers uh, with respect to the thematic topics. So when you submitted your paper, you also uh, selected a topic that was most suited to your, uh, your, your given area of, uh, of work. Okay, uh, we also um, um, included the um, optional abstract um, uh, capability for all papers in, in order to attain feedback related to a given, a given topic and to see if it was worth pursuing or not, or perhaps change a slight angle with respect to the full paper. Now just getting into the, uh, the kind of dis dissemination side of things, Demetrius uh, presented uh, yesterday morning a, uh, the, the conference proceedings website. That's, that's up and running now at about 95%. We're just waiting on, on one last ISSN number to complete the full proceedings. So it's all there for you. We have uh, on that site, which is accessible through the conference website. Just log on to the conference website and scroll down. It's all there, full proceedings and the, uh, the metadata associated with, with each paper, including all of the uh, YouTube videos, which I think, uh, Daniel, they, they are now available online for all of the presentations. No, okay, they're f forthcoming. Coming, Coming soon, very soon. So yesterday's are, are available and we've had some, quite a few views of certain presentations. Uh, um, numbers were talked about earlier in the board meetings where um, Raphael Sachs' video has had 250 views already and uh, Jens, I believe, 125 people or so had looked at yours. So uh, that, that, that's, it's great to see that level of dissemination and, and rapid dissemination as well. Um, I'd also like to mention that the top papers have been selected, that's the top eight papers have been selected to uh, partake in the special issue of the ICE journal for smart infrastructure, smart infrastructure and construction. Okay. Okay. So just to, to note as well that we're very much focused on quality, and uh, um, we, we based on the EC3 charter, we uh, we have a policy that if there's a presenter missing and, and the paper is not presented, it will be withdrawn from the proceedings. Okay. All the papers were ranked by an independent and anonymous peer review process, and that was that was really that was really excellent. So I mean. Um, Alessandro just presented there, and his paper ranked above the, uh, all other papers based on that peer review and blind peer review process, which I thought was uh, um, uh, uh, most objective. Okay, we also uh, would like to uh, um, note that we, we acknowledge and we will reward the best papers, and uh, the, the awards will be tonight at, at our conference dinner, and they, uh, we will um, also do a small cash prize, and they have been given keynote presentation slots. So that's also a key feature of EC3 and something you perhaps don't see at other conferences. The other uh, ten, uh, sorry, eight papers of the top ten were then highlighted with an asterisk. If you look at your conference, um, uh, at the conference proceedings, uh, you see the little asterisk just uh, preceding the paper title. And they were given um, prominent slots in their respective sessions, and that was where possible. Okay. So, we, uh, thank you very much for coming. We hope you really enjoyed the uh, EC3 event, and this is not a wrap-up, I have a few more little bits to do. Um, and we, 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 I hope you can stay and enjoy further uh, activities over the weekend. 
Okay, so just uh, in terms of what is available over the weekend, there are uh, three options available for tomorrow, the three excursions, and uh, if you're looking to uh, make a last minute booking, uh, the girls from Mythos uh, will be able to help you out, um, uh, out at reception. Okay, a couple of statistics then related to our conference. Um, so we had a number of papers submitted. We see here at, at the top, the key figure was 62. We, ha we then based on that rigorous peer review process, we accepted 50, uh, 52 of them, eight, or around, around about 83%. And that might seem a little high, but in general, the quality of the papers was, was quite high. And we thank you all again for your efforts. So, so thank you, um, uh, um, thank you um, the, the authors for, for that effort. For various reasons, we've rejected or withdrawn uh, um, 10, 10 papers. So um, you see my, my percentages are off for the, se for the second representation, but that's not so important. Uh, th 49 and uh, three papers respectively in the parallel and plenary sessions. Okay, so we have 12 thesis and three uh, uh, presentations. Uh, I thought that was the most useful session, as I said earlier, and uh, six late-breaking late abstracts and approximately 40 attendees at our industry day um, uh, event. So just in terms of where your research lies and the topics that are available to EC3 participants, we see here that the data acquisition analysis and simulation topic was by far and away the most popular. So as a result, Alessandro, our, our, our topic, our area chair, was most busy in that section. And uh, that, that was uh, followed by Raphael Sachs, who, who, who was um, responsible for the product and, and process modeling section. So, uh, so again, this, um, the, the, the um, area chairs uh, suggest the reviewers for, these particular, uh, for each particular paper, and, and we worked accordingly. So, so, so thank you. Just in terms of um, what went on behind the scenes then, and who was responsible. So um, first and foremost, uh, I can't express articulately enough how much effort Demetrius has put into delivering a quality um, conference. So this I just like for, for myself and from everybody, if you could please give Demetrius a, a, a round of applause. It was just fantastic. <laughs> So thank you, thank you, Demetrius. Um, it was also a pleasure uh, to, to work with the other members of the panel. I think the, the process went quite smoothly, considering we weren't just preparing a conference, but we were essentially setting up a conference series. And uh, that, that, that took quite a lot of overhead, but the systems are now in place to ensure we have um, even smoother um, conferences in the future. Um, okay, so th th thank you, um, everybody else here. I, I think uh, you, you know what you've done, and, and, and thank, thank you for, for your combined efforts. Okay, additionally, um, uh, Daniel was looking after the, uh, the industry day, and, and th thank you for, um, for putting in the effort there, Daniel, because you, you ran the whole session on Wednesday yourself, and, and, and th thank you for that. Uh, Peter, thank you for running the uh, Thesis in Three um, uh, competition, and uh, just in general, thank you again to all of our session chairs uh, over the, the last uh, two days. Okay. So I just wanted to list out as well, in case you're wondering who the, who the uh, experts were in, in terms of the, uh, the, the topic or area chairs, as we call them, um, and w with respect to your, uh, your, your given uh, topic of choice. So uh, we see here we've uh, uh, just a, a range of people. Some of them are able to make it today, uh, today and over the past uh, preceding two days, uh, and some are not. Okay. So just a, a couple of other key thank yous. Um, to our student helpers, uh, primarily from the University of, of Crete and the Aristotle University, University of Thessaloniki. And uh, again, my, my student, Osman, helped develop the Proceedings website, and uh, we, we, we also thank him. Okay, so very, very quickly, just a kind of a small little bit of interaction. We, um, we really feel that self-praise is no praise, or self-criticism might not be objective enough. We would very much appreciate uh, your, your feedback. So in terms of, uh, just very quickly, Demetrius, you might just, I can type it up myself here in shorthand. Uh, you, 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 Demetrius will take a few notes. So we'd like your feedback and just, just opening up the floor for any positives or uh, maybe areas of constructive uh, criticism where you feel you could um, uh, give us some advice on how we can improve future conferences. So take maybe um, two or three pieces of feedback and uh, we, we'll see how that goes. So I'd like to open up to the floor and just see if, if people have any comments on what you felt worked well at this conference or what, need, what needs maybe a little improvement. Uh, so please, any, any volunteers, I, I, would, uh, I would certainly appreciate it. Come on, we can do it one or two. <laughs> All right. 
Uh, <laughs> um, I gave a second option as well. If you'd like to just take a, take a moment, to please feel free to uh, email uh, uh, myself or Demetrius and just to say. So, I, I, for example, I, I felt that the, um, the location, uh, the, the climate here, the weather is fantastic. It's, it's quite a nice draw to, to, to come to um, such a beautiful place. In terms of technical content and uh, conference logistics, I thought that the conference app worked quite well. And uh, given the fluid nature of the, the program at certain times, I was able to uh, provide updates to, to you guys as, as, uh, as needed. So I, I thought they also worked well. So um, again, if you feel you'd be um, more comfortable sending something privately, just send it on to Demetrius or I, and we, we'll, we'll process it accordingly, and we, and we, we will um, take it into consideration for, for the next conference. So um, our sponsors, ICE Publishing and uh, our respective universities, um, so th thank you for allowing us the time to uh, compile this conference and we, we greatly appreciate um, uh, th that freedom. So um, I'm gonna hand over to Janis for, for two minutes and then I'm gonna wrap up with future plans. So Janis Berlakis will talk us through our EC3 awards. <laughs> 